Welcome to another MaxUDA video tutorial in which we will deal with the details of the code system. If you have watched the Getting Started video tutorial, you might have already learned how to create new codes. You right-click on the code system in the MaxUDA window code system and choose New Code from the context menu. Then you choose a name and color and create the code by confirming your choice with OK. The Getting Started video tutorial also showed you how to rearrange codes in the code system with drag and drop or to create subcodes by dragging a code onto another code. There are several more functions for working with the code system of course, which I would like to introduce to you now. It is possible to rename codes anytime, either with the corresponding option in the context menu of the code or by clicking on the code name again after the code is already selected. If you want to delete the code or want to change its color, you can also do this via the context menu of the code. Just right click on the code name and choose the options delete code to delete or color to change the color of the code. If the code has subcodes, you will automatically be asked whether or not you would like to change the color of all the subcodes accordingly. Apart from these options to adjust individual codes, you can also tailor the code system to the needs of your research. You can expand or collapse the branches of the code system for example. If you collapse the whole code system and expand it again, this will reset the code system on the first hierarchical level. You might have also learned in the Getting Started tutorial that the number of codings that belong to a code are listed next to that code in the window code system. If you now collapse the subcodes of a code, this number will automatically sum up the codings of the code itself and its subcodes. It is possible to arrange the codes and subcodes alphabetically or numerically in ascending or descending order. All you need to do is to right click on the code or even the whole code system and choose the option sort subcodes. If you are working with emoji codes, you can also click on this button right here and display only the emoji codes, thus hiding all the other codes. Or maybe you want MaxUDA to show the code system in a table view. This view can also be arranged by code color, creation date or author, etc. There might also come a point in your research where you do not just want to rearrange codes in the code system but would like to copy the codings of a code to another code or simply combine two codes. This is also possible with the context menu of a code. If I want to copy or move, for instance, all the codings of this code right here, I right click on it and then choose one of the two options, copy or move coded segments. In this case, I would like to combine the codings of this code with those of another one and thus choose Move Coded Segments. Now I right click on the target code and choose Move Coded Segments from the recently chosen code. As you can see, the first code does not contain any codings anymore. I have moved them to the second code and thus combined the first code with this one. The name of the codings then automatically adjusts to the target code. Another quite useful function helps you to copy all the subcodes of a code. You right click on the code name and choose copy subcodes from the context menu. Then you right click on the target code name and choose paste subcodes. Note that this will not automatically copy the codings of those subcodes though. If you would also like to copy them, you can use the function copy coded segments which I have just explained to you. Now, if you would like to save your code system separately from your project file, you click on the menu codes. Choose Print Code System or Export Code System and define the appropriate format. If you export your code system to an Excel sheet, for example, you can attach it to your research paper. In contrast to this, the option Export Code System in MaxQDA format in the menu Codes will export your code system in a special file format that allows you to re-import it into another MaxQDA project. The corresponding import option can also be found in the menu Codes right below the export option. Last but not least, we will talk about the possibility to create so-called code sets. If you scroll to the very bottom of your code system, you will find a folder called Sets. Right-click on it, choose New Set from the context menu and create a name for the set. You can now drag and drop any codes and subcodes into this set and then rearrange them as you like. The structure of the code system above will not be changed by doing so though. The use of such code sets allows you to try out alternative code arrangements or to activate frequently used codes or to code groups at once.